Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 4-10. So in this problem, it is given that the assembly consists of two 10 mm diameter rod, brass, copper, A, B, and C, D, and 15 mm diameter stainless steel rod E, F, and rigid bar G. If horizontal displacement of end F of E, F is 0.45 mm, determine the magnitude of P. So this is rod A, B, and C, D that is made up of copper and this rod EF is stainless steel rod and G is rigid bar. So it is given that displacement end of rod EF is equal to 0.45. So you have to find this the value of this load P. So we will start from the solution. So for finding uh, the load by using this equation delta is equal to tl divided by ae so we need the internal loading of rod a b c d and e f so for that we will uh, draw the free bar diagram so first i will cut the it over here so this is a and if i draw the free bar diagram so it will be like this this is and this is both so load of 4p is applied so at the end this load will be equal to pef and that is will be also equal to 4p in order to balance it now i will find the force in this each rod so let this is b and I, if i draw the free wire diagram so the free wire diagram will be like this this is rigid bar g and this is rod EF and this force is 4P. Also there is a force of P and P over here you can see it. So this load will be equal to PAB and this load will be equal to PCD. Now 4P is over here and 2P over here. So we need 2P in this direction in order to balance it. So this force will be equal to P and this will be also equal to P. And P is not known. We will find this P. What is the magnitude of this P? And you can see that P, 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 4P in the left direction and 4P in the right direction. So it balance it. Now we have the internal loading. So we can find the magnitude of p also the area of ef is equal to pi by 4 d square and d is given as for ef it is 15 millimeter so it will be equal to 0 0.015 meter square here and that will be equal to 56.25 into 10 to the power minus 6 into pi square meter similarly diameter of a b uh, area of a b is equal to area of c d which is equal to pi by 4 d square diameter is given as 10 millimeter so in meter it is it will be 0 0.10 square so that will be equal to 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 into pi square meter here now we have the displacement equation displacement and of and f will be equal to sum of p into l divided by ae clear so from that we know that displacement of and f will be equal to displacement in this rod and displacement in this rod so that will be equal to displacement in this rod will be equal to pl so here p is 4p so I will write 4p length is 450 millimeter. You can see this is 450 millimeter. So 450 millimeter equal to 0 0.450 meter divided by area. Area is 56.25 into 10 to the power minus 6 into pi. And E of this stainless steel is 193 into 10 to the power 9. I will show you 
or copper it is 10 sorry stainless steel it is 193 gigapascal and for brass it is uh, copper red brass is 101 okay plus elongation or deflection or you can say displacement in rod a b or c d because both have the same diameter and same material so same displacement will occur so p in that rod is p so p and length of this is 300 mm so it will be 0.300 here divided by area of rod a b or c d is 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 into pi and e of this brass is 101 into 10 to the power 9 giga 9 pascal clear this is equal to displacement f and it is displacement this displacement of and f is 0.45 mm so i will write it 0. Point, this displacement is equal to 0.45 displacement f is equal to 0.045 Millimeter, so it will be equal to zero point zero four five. Sorry, not zero point zero four five. Zero point four five. Correct it. Zero point four five millimeter. So that will be equal to zero point four five into ten to the power minus three meter because all the values are in meter. So zero point. Four five into ten to the power minus three meter. So you can see on left side you have this value and on right side you have all this value, but p is not available. So you have to keep the p on one side, and you will find this p will be equal to when you calculate it, you will find that this p is equal to four nine six seven newton, or that is equal to four point nine seven. Kilo newton. So this much load of P is required to create a displacement of 0.45 millimeter at the end of this point F in this direction, away from the fixed. Uh, this was a very easy problem, and uh, if you have watched this problem 4-9, so you will be able to understand this problem 4-10. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching.